So yesterday, we took a look at the top 10 sequels slated for 2015, with some pretty tough competition for the top spot. Yes, 2015 is one of the most anticipated years in movie history, thanks to all those sequels. But there are some interesting original movies coming out as well. For instance, at number 10 is Straight Outta Compton, which chronicles the rise and fall of rap group N.W.A. back in the 1980s. Former member Ice Cube just co-starred in one of the biggest hits of 2014, Ride Along. And Dr. Dre is on track to become the first rapper billionaire thanks to the sale of Beats to Apple. And both are producers on this film. Hopefully they've made sure the film isn't slanted in their favor, but either way there should be strong interest in hearing their story. My number nine is Goosebumps, thanks to a strong showing at Comic-Con this year. Both Sony and Jack Black prove they are very serious about making this long-awaited adaptation a success, while the recent success of Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles has proven that strong brand recognition can definitely translate into strong box office. Plus, a screenplay by Mike White could mean this won't be just for young kids, as yet another supposed kid's property smartens up all of the Lego movie. Number eight, Get Hard where Kevin Hart teams up with Will Ferrell for Hart's best shot yet at joining the big leagues. Ferrell is coming off of a very strong showing with Anchorman 2, as is Hart with Ride Along. If they can combine their two audiences for the tale of a businessman who hires a tough guy to get him ready for his upcoming prison sentence, well, this could be a gold star on both their box office resumes. Hey, everyone likes Orange is the New Black, right? Wait, Inside Out is just number seven? Isn't that a Pixar film? Yes, it is. And Pixar's recent string of sequels and year-long hiatus have certainly helped lower expectations. And while Toy Story 3's Michael Arndt might be scripting, didn't he get kicked off of Star Wars Episode 7? Plus, come on, this is a total rip-off of Urban's head. But still, it is a Pixar film, and fans are eager to see the animation studio recapture its former glory. And after years of low-risk filmmaking, it's promising to see Pixar tackle the complex subject of how we think, even if they don't succeed. Number six is also from Disney, Cinderella. After Alice in Wonderland, Oz the Great and Powerful, and Maleficent, how can we not be excited about Disney's next live-action fairy tale? In contrast to the animated versions, these live-action films focus more on the villains. And this time, Kate Blanchett will get to delightfully chew the scenery as Cinderella's evil stepmother. Now, Disney will have already mined this classic story with Into the Woods, so hopefully screenwriters Chris Weitz and Aileen Brosh McKenna have found a fresh angle. But director Kenneth Branagh should help entice audiences, as should a cast culled from hit TV shows Game of Thrones and Downton Abbey. Now, number five is really exciting as we get our first serious video game adaptation with Assassin's Creed. In light of the current comic book movie renaissance, many gamers are wondering when their beloved properties will get a chance to shine, and this might be it. Michael Fassbender has confirmed he's still on board to star and is also producing, personally meeting with the writers to get the script into shape before they begin production. Ubisoft is also heavily involved in what will be the first of many films they've slated for the silver screen. Number four is Ant-Man, as Marvel Studios continues to experiment before DC even really gets out of the gate. But Ant-Man is being watched more carefully than your regular Marvel flick due to the controversy over Edgar Wright's departure after working on the film for eight years. Paul Rudd and Michael Douglas are interesting choices to star, where there's also been some fan concern over the name change for Evangeline Lilly's character. From founding member of the Avengers Janet Van Dyne to unknown entity Hope Van Dyne. Also, some fans wonder how we can have an Ant-Man movie, but still no Black Panther or Black Widow movie. However, Marvel movies are still very highly anticipated, and after the studio pulled off Guardians of the Galaxy, everyone is surely curious to see if they can go two for two. I'm sorry, but number three is Fifty Shades of Grey. Many of you have already developed a Pavlovian response of disgust to this film, but there's no denying its fans are out there, and they are legion. In just one week, it became the most watched trailer of 2014 on YouTube, with over 36 million views. Yes, Fifty Shades of Grey fans might be as elusive as Hydra, but they're out there. Number two is Tomorrowland. Sure, we don't know anything about it, but the talent involved here is exciting enough all on its own. This will be the second live-action film for fan favorite Brad Bird, who has yet to make a bad movie. And while fans don't necessarily trust Lost and World War Z's Damon Lindelof anymore, his name still does pique their interest. George Clooney and Hugh Laurie star in a film with sci-fi elements that may or may not play into the theme park land which shares the movie's name. But parts of the movie were filmed there, 
Will Fantasyland be next or Adventureland? So what could possibly top this list? That's easy, The Revenant, starring Leonardo DiCaprio and Tom Hardy. Sure, they both appeared in Inception, but not as equals, whereas here they will go head to head and compete in Oscar season. Audiences are already interested in Birdman from director Alejandro Inarritu, so imagine how they'll feel about this film, a thrilling western about survival and revenge based on Michael Punk's hot new novel. Yeah, you cinephiles are definitely going to want to pick that up before seeing the movie. So that's Beyond the Trailer's list of the top 10 original movies set for 2015. Share your own thoughts down below, and be sure to check out my list of top 10 sequels and wildcards right now.